All right, here we are, episode two on how to get better at Madden. If you watched the first episode, you got your settings right. That's probably the most important thing. Got a lot of great feedback on that video. A lot of people did not know the correct settings that they should have had. And again, man, on this series, anytime I get any kind of feedback with, you know, obviously a like button or just my comments, I read all the comments. The comments were crazy support. So I appreciate everyone that left a comment. If you haven't left a comment, you need to do that. And also, if you haven't hit the subscribe button, you need to do that and stop being lazy. It helps your boy out. Now, here we go, episode two. Now, in episode two, it's kind of hard for me to come up with this episode. Well, not hard for me to come up with the episode, but which order it was gonna be in. Because I was gonna talk about how to create an offense and that'll be episode three. But when I played this game, the most important thing for me personally was getting the movement down. And so in episode two, we're gonna talk about how you guys can find the best ball carrier moves day one of the game. So before you guys have to look up YouTube videos on like how to do the best moves, the best juke, the best spin, whatever it may be, I'm about to show you guys how maybe you guys can get ahead of the game and be the first ones to find it. And I'll talk about little strategies that you probably didn't know on how to make your spin moves better. Obviously, you know, I, run, I do a lot of spin moves in all my games. And uh, so let's get into it. But before we get into it real quick, shout out to the legend. Well, Mikey Sweats. Got to give him a shout out. He is my number one gifter like every week for like the last 30 weeks. And well, that's exaggerating. And is the Rams theme team the best theme team in Ultimate Team currently? Let me know in the comments below what theme team you guys love rocking. I would love to know what you guys are using. Me personally, I'm lazy. I'm using the Raiders theme team. I would love to know what you guys are rocking. But again, shout out to Mo Mikey Sweats, number one when I go live on Twitch. He always has the most subs. By the end of the week, I don't know how he does it every week, but somehow the man does it. Will someone take his spot? I don't know. We shall see. But let's get in this video and let's talk about how you guys can do the best uh, moves in the game. I will show you guys what the best, how to do the best spin move. I'm not the best at the juke, but I'll show you guys like what I personally do when I get a game. So first thing I do, I'm going, and that, especially with next gen, because they changed the whole entire edge, the engine of like the game. It moves slower. So I go to practice mode. And I do offense only first. So offense only, and we'll just do, you know, you really want to do like someone that has good moves. So probably the Panthers with Christian McCaffrey. Probably one of the, no, oh, we're on the rookie settings. Mm. <laughs> if you watch the settings video, you know, but I'm going to go to all Madden. And uh, yeah, we're just going to load up here. What you do is literally like freestyle. Now, listen, you're going to get tired, but like, because you know you're gonna keep doing moves so then you just need to replay uh repeat the play so i'm just gonna get the ball in you know mccaffrey's hands and like so like here we go right so you always want to try what the best moves were last year so we're playing madden 22 right now and a madden 21 is the stop and go so if you run and you let go of your controller like you you're supposed to in the stop and go he doesn't really just stop right away as for some reason my whole team wants to get around me and then if and then some people on the stop and go last year would actually like you you completely let go of the controller and you would do left stick back left stick back as soon as you let go and watch what happens this year when you do it you do it and then he actually turns around which isn't a good thing so in other maddens to do the best moves you would hold down lt it was like a the precision modifier or something like that but now if you hold down lt you do this you do celebration moves so you know there is no like special button to do you know moves so so let's just watch the different kind of spin. So I'm gonna run back, and the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold down right trigger, right trigger's a sprint, and I'm just gonna hit the B button, I'm gonna spin. And you can see, that's how he spins, just straight up like that. It is what it is. So that's really not the best move at all. And I'm gonna go out of bounds. Like, there's different ways to spin. So people don't know this, but when you do spin moves, like you actually, this year's mad, and you should not hold down right trigger. So what you're supposed to do is when you're running, let go of right trigger and then spin and you do one of these. Cause if I try to do that while holding down right trigger, he does one of these spin moves, which actually looks pretty good. But the best spin move this year is the one where you're actually not holding down right trigger. So when like you get the ball, you should hold down right trigger, but right before you get tackled at an angle, you should do just something like that, change the direction and just keep going. And that's honestly the best. Now I'm gonna really break down how to do the best spin move right here. So like I said, I'm gonna throw the ball. You, you wanna hold down right trigger, but you gotta think about it. So if I keep my left stick going the way I'm running like this and I hit it and I hit the spin, I go in that direction. You kind of have to do it at the same time. So if you're running, so I'm gonna be running to the pylon, right? So my, my left sticks then go up and right. 
As soon as I hit the spin, though, my left stick needs to go left. It needs to just snap left. So right here, I'm going. As soon as I hit the spin, I snap it left and directs me. Because if you get lazy and you do this and you're late with it, you just kind of go up the field. It's not really a good change of direction. So when you spin, as soon as you hit it, left stick has to, has to be going left or right directly. So if I'm going left, my left stick, as I hit spin, needs to go directly to the right. And it actually, and I'll, and I'll go about it time. So like right here, I'm going about, you know, between 12 and 3 o'clock right here. And, but when I hit my left stick, it's directly at 9. Literally, literally it's directly at 9 o'clock. And again, make sure when you do this move that um, you're, right, you're, you're not holding down the sprint button. That, that's the biggest thing you should take away when you're trying to find spin moves is sometimes the best spin move you can find or juke or truck or anything is when you let go of the of the uh, right trigger, which is the sprint button. So, and if you did not know that, right trigger is sprint button. So, like, you should just try that out when you're in practice mode. Like right here, here's a juke without the sprint button. You see, nice, nice, and here's this. And then you see the difference. Now, which one works better in a game? That's when you need, need to go against the computer to see which one has the better AI breaking ankles or which fools out a user, user better when you play against someone online. But that's like the first thing you need to look for. Now, again, you think about moves in the past. I'm gonna talk about something. So this was the double juke, and this is kind of hot right now. I'm actually not the best at this, but the double juke used to be this. So people would run, they would juke right. That's what juke right means. But if you go right, left real quick, like it has to be like instant, right? And then left stick, like right there, that was perfect. Like that was honestly perfect right there. When I went left, I snapped, when I did, when I juke backwards, so you're juking away, I did my left stick toward the direction I want to go. So I want to go right. So I do that snap and then it goes there and then I hold down sprint and it takes a lot of practice again. How do you get this down? You do it right here. You do it in practice mode. You work on all these and hopefully you guys learn like it sounds simple, but whichever direction you want to go, make sure your left stick hits there, but not too early because if you do it too early, like that's going to happen. So if, if I hit left stick to the right, right here, before I hit spin, this is what that would look like. And that looks just terrible, which if I do it at the same time, even though he's like dead tired, that looks a lot better. So really like that, that's the best way to do the juke, the juke move and the spin move this year is again, do not hold down right trigger. Now, if you do hold down right trigger, do it as soon as you're done performing the move, like the juke, like right here. And then I hold down right trigger and it gets me out of there better. Same with the spin. And then I hold down right trigger to get out of there better after I perform the move. And this is honestly the best way to get ball carry moves. Now I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth. I don't have the computer out there to go against right now, but a little pro tip if you're playing this game, have a tight end with high trucking. So for a running back, the truck really isn't the best move unless you like have abilities like tank and all that stuff. But if you're going like, this is for like non-abilities, the spin move and the juke move is by far the best. Fulls out the AI better and the and the, and the user. And uh, at the end of the video, make sure you guys are here. I'm going to play some clips probably from my TikTok of how I fooled out the CPU and the AI, the user, everything with my spin move. That's like my main thing. And then also I'll, I'll show you guys like how good tight end trucking can be. And like right here, this is like one of the best thing. And I actually hold down right trigger when I do the truck. So when I do the truck move, because I want to get out of there, I hold down right trigger. There's really no difference at all if you hold it down or not. So you want to hold it down so you can actually get out of there a little faster again. Simple as that. And if you have a matchup against a corner, you're going to probably truck him like 90% of the time again. I will put that in uh, at the end of these. Um, at, when I'm done talking, I will show you guys me performing these live in games and show you how it works. So before I head on off, I just want to let you guys know again with a new Madden, you want to find the best moves. And me personally, I actually found this spin move day one of the beta. My main thing, I'd even go and find a playbook yet or how I wanted to run bunch as Sam Darnold is literally up McCaffrey's butt right now super sus but yeah so that's like the main thing is just that right here it's just don't don't hold down right trigger and look and, look, and just look how good this is right here and then when i hold down right trigger you know that looks good but they get tired they get tired quicker so the thing about also that is a plus if you're not holding down right trigger while performing this move he doesn't get tired because you shoot you you saw as soon as i held down right trigger 
it was terrible so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you learned something let me know if you guys learned something in the comments below and before i head on out let's play these clips and let me show you guys what it looked like live in game 